Hello and welcome to your yoga class. My name is Maria and today I have a fun sun salutation yoga flow for you. So this is going to include a few sun salutations at the beginning, but then we're going to get creative with them and I'll do some things. Maybe I'll inspire you to do some things. We'll have a your choice free flow at the end or I'll also guide it so you'll have your choice there. So I'm hoping it'll be as fun as I'm thinking it will be and I hope that you enjoy it as well. So all you're going to need today is floor. You don't even need a mat, but if you have one, go ahead and bring it out. Uh, and then if you have blocks, go ahead and bring them. I can cue some, or I will cue some modifications with them, but again, we don't need them. I'll meet you on the mat. Starting at the top of your mat, bring your feet hip width apart, knees slightly bent. So a little bit of give in the knees, trying not to lock them out, arms by your sides, palms facing the front. Try to relax the shoulder tips away from the ears and take a big inhale in through the nose. Try to expand the torso, all four sides, and big exhale out through the nose. A couple more times, big breaths in. Imagine that you're inflating a balloon, that your torso is a balloon, and you're trying to inflate it with your inhales. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And when you exhale, imagine all the air leaving, trying to deflate the balloon entirely. One more time, big inhale in, breathing in through the nose. And big exhale out, breathing out through the nose. So throughout this whole flow, just try to keep connected to your breath. Keep breathing. If you ever come disconnected with your breath, that's okay. Just whenever you notice that you're breathing uh, faster, try to reconnect with your breath. When you notice that you have moved away from your breath or that your tension's not there anymore, just bring it back. Take another big inhale in. Big exhale out. And then lift your arms up towards the sky. And then we're going to start to bend the knees, bend at the hips, hinging at the hips and fold your torso over your legs. So keeping your gaze down or back, trying not to arch through the neck too much, maybe tuck the chin just a little bit, coming into Uttanasana, forward fold. Try to press evenly through the balls and the heels of your feet. Arms can rest down on the ground or grab opposite elbow and maybe just swing a little from side to side, but keeping that movement small. On your next inhale, whenever that is, start to slide your hands up to your shins or your upper thighs. And we're gonna come into Ardha Uttanasana, half lift. Bring your, tuck your elbows in and tuck your chin. So we're gonna stay here for a little bit, just noticing how this feels. We're gonna speed it up after this. But tuck your chin, maybe try to imagine you're balancing something behind your neck. Big inhale in, big exhale out. One more big inhale in, just noticing how this feels. And then as you exhale, forward fold Uttanasana one more time. And you're gonna plant your hands in front of your feet, knees bent, knees as bent as you need them to be. You're gonna step the right foot back to the back of the mat, coming into a runner's lunge. Lift the chest here, just notice how your body feels in this. Try to stack your knee, your left knee over top of your left ankle. If it shifts forward, that's okay. If it's a little back, that's okay. But just notice where it is in space. And then plant your hands and step that left foot back as well. So from here, option to drop onto your knees in a plank pose. Stay here for an inhale, breath in and breath out. And then shift on your toes all the way forward as much as you can. Option to come onto your knees again. And then slowly lower all the way to the ground. Elbows graze your ribs coming all the way to the ground. Untuck your toes and press your hip bones into the earth. Elbows reaching back, bring your hands, slide them down to maybe around your ribs. And on your next inhale, you're gonna lift your chest up, lift the chin, and then exhale back down. One more time. On your next inhale, just lift the top of your chest ever so slightly, as much as you can, little to no weight in your hands, see if you can balance that, and exhale back down. Bring your hands once again underneath your shoulders, so maybe move them up a little bit, tuck your toes under, push yourself up to maybe that plank pose or plank pose with the knees under, lift the knees for just a moment and then exhale. On your next exhale, you're gonna lift the hips up high for downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Savasana. Feet can be hip width apart here, slight bend in the knees, heels can be lifted here. And then try to push the lower belly towards the upper thighs here. 
So try to imagine how a dog stretches. It stretches more so from its uh, upper chest area, upper back. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're not trying to have our backs hunch over. We're trying to bring a straight spine to this downward facing dog. So take one more big inhale here and big exhale. And then slowly step, walk, or hop your feet up to meet the back of your hand. Four, forward fold, Uttanasana once again. Halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins or to your upper thighs. Take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, lower your body, your torso, once again, forward fold, Uttanasana. On your next inhale, bend in the knees and then roll your body up, bringing the head up last to avoid feeling lightheaded. If rolling up doesn't feel good, feel free to just keep a neutral spine, engaging the core, engaging the glutes, to try to bring the glutes forward and see if that helps. So a couple of options there to help lift you up. And we're gonna do this a few more times, changing it a little bit every time, so we'll see if you like it, and we'll see if that motivates you to create your own. On your next inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky and then bring your palms to heart center. We're gonna bend the knees, bend the hips, keep the gaze down, keep the chin tucked, forward fold, Uttanasana. Bring the hands to relax down. On your next inhale, wherever that is, so it doesn't have to be one and one, just whenever the next one is, slide your hands up to your shins or your upper thighs, halfway lift. Adho Uttanasana. Big inhale. Tuck the chin, and then on your next big exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, and we're gonna step the left foot back this time. So runner's lunge like we did on the other side, but this time on the right side. So try to stack that right knee over top of that right ankle. Maybe coming up onto your fingertips here. If you have the blocks, I forgot to mention this on the last one, but this is a great time to maybe bring them and help lift the floor up to you. Try to sink your hips closer to the earth as as much as you can until you start to feel a good stretch or if you start to feel a sensation or until you can't really control your breathing anymore. Go back to wherever it was that you could. And then we're gonna plant both hands and step that right foot back as well, coming into plank pose, option to drop the knees here. And then we're once again going to keep the elbows tucked in, but this time we're just gonna have lower halfway. So we're not gonna bring our torso all the way down. And then once you're here, push your, straighten your arms up and lift the chest again, but this time if your feet aren't tucked under, try to keep them tucked under, you're going to lift, squeeze the glutes and lift the knees and the thighs up off of the ground, coming into an upward facing dog. If this doesn't feel great, feel free to gently place the knees on the ground, but don't stay in this extended arm motion here. We're going to walk the arms a little bit forward, and then this time if you wanna keep your knees on the ground, coming into this cobra pose. It's not so much an upward dog, but it doesn't uh, constrain your body that much. So having your arms a little bit forward, a little bit wider, maybe bringing your elbows down. But wherever you are, flip your feet to tuck your toes under, squeeze your core or engage your core to lift the hips up high for downward facing dog. So bend the knees here lift the heels up off of the floor and then slowly start to tip with the feet up to meet the backs of the hands lift the hands up to your shins or your upper thighs halfway lift and then as you exhale on your next exhale fold back over shake your head yes and shake your head no to maybe release any tension that you've built up in your neck or shoulders over the last couple of moves and then when you're ready, this time I'm gonna show and cue the uh, straight back to lift up. But feel free to roll yourself up. If you roll up, just bend your knees. But if you're coming with me on the straight lift up, slight bend in the knees here. Lift your torso to halfway lift and then start to squeeze the glutes. Try to pretend that you're squeezing them and that you're able to, to lift and send your hips forward and lift your torso up. So that was once on each side. We're gonna lift the arms up towards the sky. Take a big inhale. 
And then as you exhale, gaze goes down, but bend over your legs, forward fold. So hinging at the hips, slight bend in the knees. Bring your hands to your shins or your upper thighs, half lift, big inhale. And big exhale, fold back over. Plant your hands and step your right foot back, this time coming into a low lunge. This time bring the blocks here if you need it, but you're gonna ground down through your right hand. Have that one next to your left foot and then start to lift the left hand up towards the sky. Big inhale in. On the big exhale, maybe try to sink your hips a little closer to the ground. Feel free to have the back knee bent here or even have the back knee on the ground, but try to sink those hips a little bit more. Stay here for another breath. Big inhale in through the nose and big exhale out. And we're gonna bring that left hand back to frame the left foot. This time, slide the left foot back and plant both hands coming into a plank pose. Once again, option to bring the knees down. And we're gonna do a halfway chaturanga. So shift, shift all the way forward on your toes as much as you can and then drop the knees. Elbows graze your ribs, but then come up halfway. And then you're gonna lift the chest up, straighten up through the arms. And then you're gonna lift the uh, knees and the upper thighs off of the ground, coming into an upward facing dog. Flip to the tops of your feet and then lift your heels or your hips up high for downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal out the feet here, bending one knee and then the other if that feels good. Push away from the ground, shoulders rising up towards your ears and then tiptoe or step your feet up to meet the backs of your hands, coming into Uttanasana at the front of the mat. Slide the hands up to your shins or you to your upper thighs and slowly, gently lift the torso up halfway. Big inhale in and big exhale out. Bend all the way forward once more. Stay here for a moment if you need a second to breathe, to connect with your breath again. Shake your head yes and shake your head no. Keeping a slight bend in the knees here. And when you're ready, whatever option you want to either roll up or to come up to halfway lift and then start to squeeze your glutes, engage the core, lift your chest to lift up all the way to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Lift your arms up, big inhale. And the big exhale, maybe your arms reach forward this time as you start to bend a little bit more and then they reach towards the ground. But remember to keep a slight bend in your knees here. Plant your hands, so bend your knees as much as you need to in order to do that. And then step the left foot back this time. Bring your left hand next to your right foot. So either with the block or just onto the ground and start to lift that right arm up towards the sky. Big inhale in. And then on the exhale, try to sink your hips a little bit closer to the ground. Feel free to bend that left knee or even drop that left knee to the ground, but try to sink your hips and notice how that feels. One more big breath in, maybe take your gaze up and exhale, bring the right hand back to frame that right foot, slide that right foot back, coming into a plank pose. Option to bring the knees down this time, option is yours whether you want to come into up dog or baby cobra i'm going to cue baby cobra so once you come all the way once you shift forward uh, bend the elbows elbows graze come all the way down onto the ground so belly touches the ground chest touches the ground press into your hip bones press your hip bones into the earth and squeeze your glutes here and we're gonna take a couple of variations so first variation is baby cobra bring your hands back to your ribs and whenever you're ready just Keeping your lower ribs pressed into the earth, just try to lift your chest as much as you can. So on your next inhale, lift, inhale, lift your chest. And then once you start to exhale slowly, bring your forehead back down to the ground. Do that one more time, squeezing the glutes here on your next inhale. Only lift the chest, keep your lower ribs pressed to the ground. And exhale back down onto the ground. And from here, take your fingers wider than the mat and then lift your palms so that you're only balancing on your fingertips elbows are facing up towards the ceiling or towards the sky and then whenever you're ready you can do that same thing so press your hip bones into the earth lower ribs stay close to the earth and on your next inhale you're going to lift your chest as much as you can this might feel a little different 
And then as you exhale, lower back down. A couple more times with this variation. On your next inhale, lift the chest. And exhale back down. Elbows are reaching up towards the sky. One more time, inhale, lift the chest. And exhale back down. So bring your hands back by your shoulders or underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under, lift the knees, lift the hips, and come into downward facing dog. Take your time, pedal up the feet, do whatever you need to, and then walk or hop or step your feet up to meet the front of your mat. Coming into Uttanasana once again, forward fold. Maybe grab opposite elbow this time and swing a little bit from side to side if that feels good. But if you're doing that, maybe bring a deeper bend to the knees and see if that feels any better or any different. And then whenever you're ready, you're going to slowly just lift yourself up, coming into half lift and then up, or roll yourself up, bending the knees first. A little bit of a different variation here. I'm going to lift the arms up towards the sky and then bring your hands interlaced behind your head. Take your arms out wide and back. And then whenever you exhale next, bring your, your elbows in front of you, tuck your chin and come into a slight bend through the upper back. On your next inhale, bring the elbows out and back. Maybe lift your chest, maybe lift the gaze a little bit. And as you exhale, elbows forward chin tucked, stretching through the back of the neck maybe. A couple more times, big inhale, elbows out and back, and big exhale, elbows forward. And then from here, stay here with your elbows forward whenever you finish there. We're going to very gently bend the knees, bend the hips, and try to bring your elbows to touch your knees. They might not touch, but just that motion that'll bring you back towards forward fold, Uttanasana, and then just slide your Hands, release your arms. No need to hold on anymore. From here, maybe each hand grabs opposite elbow and you find ragdoll variation again. Plant your hands onto the ground. Step the left foot back this time, coming into a low runner's lunge on the other side. Bring heel toe the right foot out wider than the right arm so that the right knee is on the outside of the right shoulder. Press that right knee into the right shoulder to find a little bit of activation here through the legs. Take a big inhale in, big exhale out. And once again, if you need to bring the blocks here, feel free to do that. But the motion of just trying to bring your knees in, pressing in against your shoulder. From here, slide the right foot back a little bit. Still kind of on the outside of that right arm, but just back in line a little bit. And then we're gonna turn towards the right side, coming onto the outer edge of that back left foot. And you're just gonna come into an assisted pl uh, side plank here. So feel free to slide that right foot back as much as you need to. Lift the right arm up towards the sky, coming into a twist. Big inhale in, and then as you exhale, plant your hand once again, turn both toes to face towards the front, and you're gonna slide that right foot to meet the back. Feel free to do a vinyasa this time, so coming onto the knees onto the ground, optional, but coming all the way onto the ground, and then just maybe doing a baby cobra, or feel free to just meet us in downward facing dog. Take one more big inhale in here. Allow the shoulders to shrug up towards the ears in downward dog. And then when you're ready, tiptoe the feet or step up to meet the backs of your hands towards the front of the mat. Slide your hands to your shins, halfway lift. And exhale forward, fold again. And instead of getting all the way up to mountain pose, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So plant the hands and then slide the right foot back this time. This time, send the left leg out a little bit outside of that right or that left shoulder and then press that left knee into that left shoulder so you find a little bit of activation through that left leg as you're stretching it 
coming into a lizard pose, lizard lunge. Big inhale in. As you exhale, maybe try to drop the hips a little more. Option to come down onto your knee. We're gonna do this again on the other side in just a bit. And release, so no need to push anymore. But this time, slide the left leg back a little bit so your hips can start to lift here just a little bit. Start to turn towards the left side, the long side of the mat, coming into that outer edge of that back foot, right? So that left foot, left toes can also turn, and you can slide that left foot back a little bit, come into assisted side plank. Lift the left arm up towards the sky, big inhale in, and big exhale out. Bring the left hand back down, turn both toes to face towards the front of the mat, and then slide the left foot back for downward facing dog. Tiptoe your feet to meet the front of the mat. Slide your hands up to your shins for halfway lift or to your thighs. And exhale, forward fold. Lift your arms up. As you lift your torso up, returning to Tadasana, whatever way you want. Being gentle with your body, so moving with intention. So either you rolled up or you're squeezing your glutes and engaging them to help lift your torso up. Returning to Tadasana, the pose that we started with. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. So hopefully this yoga class helped you focus a little bit more on different variations, not always sticking to the followed plan and maybe switching it up a little bit. Uh, sun salutations are great on their own, but it's also fun to add new things to it and maybe your brain wanders naturally. So. That's kind of how my brain does is I'll start something and it wanders, wanders naturally with however my body's feeling that day. So hopefully this was a little bit inspiring for you. Hopefully you saw how I broke it up. We did a lot of sun salutations there, but hopefully you saw how I broke it up um, and did it a little bit different each time. So hopefully that inspires you to, I don't know, maybe add a little bit of different variations to your sun salutations too. Get a little bit more of a workout, get different stretches. Also add in whatever it is that your body needs that day in addition to the sun salutations, which are great, but it's also great to listen to your body. So once again, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Sending love and light from my heart to yours. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get notified of new videos that I come out with, new yoga classes. Thanks again. See you next time.